Hi, everybody. This is Dr. Wright. I'm talking today about uh, tumescent versus general anesthesia. So first, I want to explain what is tumescent anesthesia. So tumescent anesthesia is uh, when dilute local anesthetic, usually lidocaine, um, it is uh, at with added epinephrine. So the epinephrine um, decreases the risk of bruising and uh, and blood loss, and uh, then the local anesthetic uh, provides the anesthesia. Um, this is what it looks like. Uh, so the tumescent means swollen, and so the this uh, the mixture is infiltrated into the skin. The skin swells and becomes tumescent or or hardens, um, and then uh, then 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 we go. Um, so my, where where did this uh, tumescent technique uh, uh, originate? So it it was developed by a dermatologist, Dr. Jeffrey Klein. Um, and really, this is the start of modern liposuction. Prior to uh, tumescent technique, uh, dry liposuction was done, which was associated with significant uh, blood loss, bruising, and skin irregularities. So this really, um, this, this was developed by Dr. Klein in the 80s. Um, and then over the next uh, decade or so, the, the uh, popularity and acceptance of liposuction really uh, uh, took off. Um, and, um, I was, uh, fortunate enough to train with Dr. Uh, Klein. So we'll talk a little more about that later. So what is general anesthesia? Uh, general anesthesia is a combination of intravenous and medicate intravenous medications and inhaled gases that produce unconsciousness. Uh, there are some risks with general anesthesia. Uh, the, the risk of death is four in a hundred thousand. Um, that, that has come down um, uh, 50 years ago, the risk was higher, uh, but actually uh, recently that, that risk, uh, the rate actually may be going up again um, as patients are older and have more comorbidities. So general anesthesia can cause an anaphylactoid reaction, which is very serious and also another uh, uh, complication called malignant hyperthermia. Um, these are really only occur with general anesthesia um, and can be quite serious. Older patients are um, particularly sensitive to general anesthesia with some studies showing um, increased memory problems and cognitive decline in older patients who undergo general anesthesia. So pro, let's go through the pros and cons of general anesthesia. Uh, it produces uh, unconsciousness, which can be beneficial for uh, anxious people. Um, uh, it has uh, patients do not feel pain or discomfort during the surgery. And for complicated surgeries like heart, lung, bowel surgeries, uh, general anesthesia is, is generally preferred. Um, it, it does have a lo longer recovery time. There's a, a, an additional recovery time just from the general anesthesia. It doesn't assist with post-procedural pain like uh, tumescent does. And um, it is associated with more complications, as I, as I already explained. Um, now, uh, tumescent anesthesia um, is performed with lidocaine, has some antimicrobial or antibiotic effects, which lowers the risk of infection. Um, the, the infection risk is very low with, um, with uh, tumescent anesthesia. Uh, some surgeons uh, substitute a wetting solution with epinephrine or, or maybe or, or kind of try to do something uh, like their uh, tumescent like, but it really does not have the same protection against infection or um, uh, post-operative pain or, or, or really many of the benefits uh, that, that, that true tumescent has. Generous tumescent also works to protect uh, lymphatic structures. Um, and that was uh, uh, demonstrated by Baumeister and Frick. And it has good to excellent pain control if done properly. And, talk a little more about proper. So to work best, it needs uh, tumescent, the tumescent solution needs to sit in the tissue for a half hour to one and a half hours. And this allows the, um, the tissue to gel um, and also the, the full effect of the uh, pain control. Um, many surgeons, um, um, use tumescent, but they don't, they rush through it. They don't do it properly. 
And they're these are all when they they're also using general anesthesia. Um and and they want to they want to stick to very short surgery times and they don't get as good uh, a tumescent effect or uh, sometimes um, uh, then they don't believe in the all the don't realize all the benefits of tumescent anesthesia. So in conclusion, uh, for simple outpatient um, uh, surgeries, tumescent anesthesia is associated with lower infection risk, quicker recovery, less post-operative pain and lower risk of complications. And really is probably the preferred um, type of anesthesia for, uh, for a simple uh, outpatient cosmetic procedure like liposuction. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate, uh, uh, appreciate your attention. If you uh, have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments and uh, it, you can like and subscribe and I, I'm, I'm planning to do more of these talks. So thank you.